Hello you guys, so I'm coming at you from my new art studio at the nuns place. <laughs> um, so I spent the last uh, week basically just like moving everything in and I will give you guys like a tour probably in the next in the next vlog but today is like one of the first nights that i can actually get to work on stuff um and i'm actually working on a new a new experimental short film so i'm making a little set for that and then i'm going to try out like some different makeup looks and costumes for the character that's going to be in the film so i thought that i would vlog that a little bit for you guys and just show you like a little evening in my life. J'ai hâte de vous montrer tout le lieu, genre de le couvent. Parce qu'il y a super bonne énergie. Ils ont laissé plein de choses derrière eux. Parce que quand même, le bonne sœur, il était là depuis 100 ans, je crois. Je crois bien, c'était 100 ans. Du coup, il y a un vrai vécu ici. So yeah, let me show you guys what I'm working on. So I was looking for a hat kind of similar to this, but I couldn't find one. So I just made this one out of coffee filters and like some random um, cardboard and tape. I'm gonna paint like a little bit of color on the inside of it. And then I'm gonna try out some like makeup looks and stuff for my character that I'm making for this film. Mommy made me mash my M&M's. 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 Um, I was gonna test out some makeup looks for my character because I'm making this like set design but I'm also making like a character it's actually gonna be a music video I don't know why the fuck I'm like trying to act all mysterious it's a music video and I have a really cool idea for it but I have a character that I'm gonna be kind of playing so I wanted to try out a lot of different makeup looks and like this hat is for her costume too I'm very, very excited about it. Uh, okay, so a little bit of info about this place. Um, they ended up getting it because the nuns that were here, who were here for like 100 years, which is crazy to even think about like 100 years of nuns in this place. Um, I wonder what the nun was like that had this room before me. Was she a nice nun or was she a naughty nun? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, what was I going to say? But yeah, actually over time, the nuns congregation got smaller and smaller and this place is so big that they couldn't like really justify staying in this space. So they moved to the 17th arrondissement. And so, yeah, they're not coming back here. Um, but they've left behind all of these amazing energies. And it reminds me because 
I grew up going to a lot of old churches because my both of my grandmas were really religious and stuff and they'd go to like these old Baptist churches and um since this place was occupied by the nuns for like a hundred years it has like that really old like everything it looks like it's from like the 60s or 70s which is really cool and when i actually came in the nuns had left behind like so much stuff like they had left behind like tons and tons of like tissues and tissues why am i saying the french word for it um tons and tons of um fabric and stuff like that and just like just like random shit i'll show you guys in the next vlog that i do because i did film like some of the stuff that i found like some little treasures and i can literally walk here i can come here any time of the day which is really cool because we like the curfew and stuff like that um with my school like we had to be gone by like 6 p.m but here i have the key and just can come and go when i want um which is really nice so I'm able to do so much stuff and like work on so much stuff and we're gonna have like cinema nights and like it's just gonna be really cool I feel really really I just feel like I was talking in my last vlog about destiny and I do actually feel like it was destiny because um I feel like this studio is perfect for me I love it so while I am finishing this I need to I just want to finish this and then I'll go home and I'll eat I'll eat my bell peppers and zucchini so well, I was thinking about something that I wanted to share with you guys, which is um, not waiting for somebody to give you permission to go after your dreams or like doing the things that you want to do. It's really up to us. Like it's really up to us to create opportunities for ourselves. Um, for example, like even making like this little set and like, you know, I don't necessarily have access to like a huge theater to make like a little play but i can make this little tiny set and like go about it in other ways and like with music or anything that i want to try like no one is going to come up to you and be like oh hi is your dream to be like a professional photographer oh hi is your dream um to be a singer to be honest like i feel like there like think about your high school for example there's probably at least like three really amazing singers in your high school and think about how many high schools there are in all of the u.s or just like any you know even any state the truth of the matter is like there are so many talented people out there handfuls and handfuls of talent but i guess what's more important than talent i feel like is um being a self-starter and being like okay i'm not gonna wait for somebody and I used to be like that, like when I was in high school, I'd be like, well, I really want to do this. Or for example, like, let's say like writing, like, oh, I really enjoy writing, but it's somebody else that has to give me the opportunities to put myself out there. Um, somebody else, like, why are we waiting for these gatekeepers to open the doors to our dreams when like we can create those, especially with the internet, like we can create these opportunities for ourselves and if it really is something that you need like that gatekeeper like for example say you really want like a huge record deal like say you want to be like i don't know like the next like ariana grande or something like that the best way to get those gatekeepers to pay attention to you or like the best way to get people to pay attention to you is by being a self-starter because they're like oh well they already have this thing going for them um my job is gonna be a lot more easier like you could create it yourself now you know and it's never too late like i remember no matter what age you are i feel like you're gonna feel like you're already too old like i remember i was six oh my god i'm just gonna die okay i'm just gonna say what i'm gonna say really quick because my camera is about to die i feel like no matter what age you are when you're watching this you're already gonna feel too old like i remember when i was like 16 I thought that I was too old to try things because I was like, ah, you know, I, I would have had to start at 10 if I really want to be like really good at it, you know? So as long as you're still alive, then don't let age be something that stands in your way. You know, like I'm just starting now, like I feel like to start kind of digging into my potential and I wanted to, do you guys see that flash? Oh my God, there's like some, some ghost nuns in here. 
Oh my god, what if there's ghosts? The, I have found like some really weird um, areas in this building. Watch like my channel turn into like a, a ghost channel. I don't know. I feel like I'm trying to express something, but I keep getting distracted, obviously. Um, I feel like something that I really want to get across from my channel like lately is to just not let ego or a feeling of it's too late or like I can't do that because of this person or that get in the way because it's something that I've experienced and like if I can motivate you guys to try something you really want to try or just put yourself out there in any way like that is the greatest gift I could ever have like I would I would honestly feel like my life purpose is fulfilled you know because that's just that's just like I want to share that because it's something that I've faced in my life and like lately my eyes have been open It's like we don't need any motherfucker telling us that we can or we can't You know, like we don't need We don't need like anybody's permission We're gonna do it and then they're gonna have to They're gonna have to be like, okay, well she did it. So I always there's this one quote that's like, um it's better to do something and apologize for it after than to ask for permission and then someone say no. I, I really do believe that's true. My camera died, but what I was saying, oh my God, is this one gonna die too? My battery is dead on both cameras. Yeah, what I was saying is if you ask for permission, like think of the times you've asked for permission and then like, it's just so easy to say no. But if you already did the thing, then you can just be like, oh, sorry, after. <laughs> Such a bad influence. <laughs> Try not to show too much of this room because I want to like I want to keep a little bit for the tour But anyway, you guys have not seen the rest of this building and it's epic. So, okay I am going to finish up this hat And I'm gonna go home and then we're gonna eat together and we're gonna chit chat some more Okay, you guys just got home home sweet home home girls have been smoking again in, um, in the hallway um, at first because a lot of you guys were asking what happened with that so in one of my vlogs, I told you that my neighbor won't stop smoking. We had, like, this confrontation because, like, I don't want to go into it. But, like, yeah, basically, she just wouldn't stop smoking. Cigarettes in the hallway, and it was nasty as fuck. Um, <laughs> and then after we had, like, our confrontation, and she, like, said sorry and stuff, she had stopped for, like, a few days. But then, like, started right back up again, and now it's, like, she just doesn't care. So, I don't know. I, I'm just, since I'm not here that often, I might just let it go. Or I might just leave another note. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna make some dinner now. Regardez-moi ça, regardez-moi toutes ces jolies couleurs. Oh la 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 la. Magnifique. Pendant qu'on attend que ce soit prêt, je me suis dit que je pouvais remercier les sponsors aujourd'hui, Lingoda. So as you guys know, I have worked with Lingoda about a million times in the past because I really believe in their method of teaching, which is focusing on getting fluent fast by speaking with native qualified teachers. I've seen you guys like on Instagram and stuff like um, sending me messages telling me that you guys have tried out Lingoda, which was really cool and like have had success with it. So that's why I keep working with them because their classes are with native teachers, they're small group classes. Um, and you can really focus on like the subjects that you want to learn about so you learn like the vocabulary in that subject Donc je sais qu'il y a beaucoup parmi vous qui regardent mes vidéos aussi pour apprendre le français Il y a bien évidemment le cours en français uh, sur leur site But they also offer classes in German, Spanish, Business English, just to name a few. And they're actually offering a seven day free trial. So that's three classes during those seven days that you can try out. And they're offering you guys 20 euros off your first month if you use this code. So if you guys are interested in like getting serious about learning a language, I definitely would recommend them. I've seen a lot of you guys have success with them as well, so. Yeah, okay, I need to stir my dinner now. Oh shit, it burned. <gasps> Lingoda! Okay, dinner's ready, you guys, and I'm eating with a spoon because 
honestly can't be bothered to clean a fork. Um, I had to switch to my phone too, which I've never done before, so I don't know how the audio is gonna be hopefully good. Look at these tulips, don't they look gigantic? <laughs> That's what I love about like setting up the shot is like sometimes when you put something really close to the camera, I just like, I don't know, so creative. Bon appétit. Do you want a bite? Yeah, so back to what I was saying about like not wanting to clean that fork. I feel like it's kind of funny because I feel, I feel like to the core of me, I'm a really messy person. Like, I feel like I was born that way. <laughs> it's like such a, like such a shitty excuse. Like, I'm just messy. I was born with it. Like, I was born with blue eyes. I was born with blue eyes and I was born messy. So it's just how I am. <laughs> like, imagine if I said that to my mom growing up, like, Sorry, mom, I can't clean my room because that's just the way that I am. That's just the way that I was born. Um, no, but I have always been somebody that's like, I can live in like a little bit of a mess. After a certain amount of time, like it does, it will like get to me. And I'm like, fuck, like I just need to take a day and be tidy. Like, and I don't mean like, you know, that I don't clean at all, but like I can live in a certain amount of disorder. And one of the things that I read is, um, some people are okay with being messy because they're like, well, I have so many other things that I need to do, um, that I'll just like put the mess aside and like, it's not going to bother me. So let me know if you guys are also like that. Um, and I think that there's like a difference between being messy and being like fucking disgusting, you know? <laughs> um, I, I feel like I am... I can, I, I can be disgusting sometimes. I just hate doing the dishes. I fucking hate them. Like, there have been times in my life where I literally have thrown away dishes that are in the sink because I'm like, I would just rather buy new ones than do this. <laughs> Which is totally unacceptable. <sighs> Be my friend. <laughs> this is going to be another one of those vlogs that are long as fuck. But I just can't make a vlog any other way than super long. Like, I feel like if we're going to spend time together, let's hang out. Like, let's just... I Like, when I see people make, like, a 10-minute long video, I'm like, must be nice for the editing, but... I don't know. I feel like the longer the vid, the better for for our relationship. Hmm. I want to talk about like putting pressure on myself to do a lot in the day. Um, I just realized the other day, like, so I've been trying to do many things. <laughs> I've been trying like in the new year, I'm like, okay, I'm going to make my art shop. I'm publishing my book. I am, um, selling prints and like all of these things take up so much time. And I, you know, but I was like, well, now that you know, I'm single and like, I live alone. I'm going to have so much more time to do all these things. And then I don't actually schedule in like time to just relax. Like I would be working from like the time that I woke up to the time I would go to sleep. And I like that. Like I like having things to do, but I realized like, it's not just because something is fun that it doesn't take your energy. Like it's not just because I'm spending like time in my art studio that it doesn't Ça me coûte pas quelque chose. Like, ça me coûte, même si c'est quelque chose que j'aime bien. What I used to do is, like, I would write out a list. What am I talking about, like, used to do? I, I'm, like, catching myself in these, like, falsehoods. Used to do. Like, I literally did this today. Um, but sometimes, like, you do things and you know that they're not serving you, but you just haven't found out, like, a better way to do it yet. Um, but, yeah, like, I'll wake up and I'll write out the things that I want to do for the day. I'm like, okay wake up and then it might be like, okay, go to art studio, finish this piece, write back emails, then come home, have dinner and, um, work on Patreon stuff and then do this until you fall asleep. And it's like, so where is the time to just like 
watch like shitty TV? Like, where's the time to just like read a book, you know? And I'm trying to like be kind to myself and be like, it's okay if I want to, when I get home, just like, sp like have a few hours of downtime, you know, like you can't fill up the whole day and not schedule in time to just relax. And that's something that I'm trying to learn from myself as well, because yeah, like there's such a pressure to be productive and like, I, I don't know, like I used to like guilt, guilt a little bit if I would fall into like a YouTube rabbit hole or something like that. And it's like, but at the same time, like maybe my brain needs just like a break. You know? Maybe my brain needs carbs. But at the same time, I feel like when you talk about, oh, I'm so busy, I don't have time. That's just like focusing on that and you're just attracting more of that in your life. It's like if you realize that you're overwhelmed, then like remember you are the master over your own life. And so you hold the key to kind of um, releasing that. You know, like you can focus on like instead the things, the way that you want to feel. Like, do you want to feel at peace? For example, I know like, you know, dancing for like 30 minutes every day is gonna make me feel really good. And like, it's hard to bargain in your head. Like, oh, do I really have time to just like fucking dance around like a penguin in my studio? Yeah, I do. Cause that's the, that's the time that I'm setting aside for myself to be like, I want to do that, you know? Um, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to be helpful, but sometimes I'm just talking out of my ass. I don't know what I'm talking about. Talk to me in the comments. And I'm not just saying that to boost the algorithm. I really do like when you guys talk to me. <laughs> this vlog, these vlogs always sound so desperate on my end. Like, eat with me. Talk with me. Talk to me. Tell me your name. Uh. Like, what are you going through? How are you feeling? What is life? Also, do you guys like these long ranty vlogs? I like them. I like making them, but I, if you guys don't like them, actually, that actually make me really sad if you said you didn't. Mm. You know what I just thought about? Like, what do you guys look like? Cause like I'm talking, but like I'm talking to somebody, but like, what am I imagining on the other end? You know what I actually do imagine? I imagine like the screen is inverted. I'm like talking to you guys and on the other side of the screen, it's like, it's like, you know, when you see the universe from outer space and it's like all black and it's like, I just imagine like the screen being there and then I'm talking and then my voice and like my image is going out into the universe and like you guys have a signal and you guys are catching it but you guys are all in all different places like you guys could be on different planets you guys could be on different like clouds or like anything or at the same time but like i know that somebody's listening to it because i see that there are views but at the same time what if that wasn't real what if uh, what if we're all, oh, this is getting dark. What if we make a video, we think people are watching, but those are just like, like, not, like, that's not a real thing. It's like the, the government trying to make us think that we're like not alone, but like each of us are actually alone. Or like, what if like the YouTubers that you're watching, like you think that they're a person, but they're actually a robot and like you're at home and like, that's a way to make you feel less alone. Fuck. I don't want to think about that. God. I just went down. A, I'm not. I don't even do drugs, you guys. That's just my head. But at the same time, I'm sure that a lot of you guys have thought about that, and that's what I love about this platform. Is like a lot of times we think, oh, uh, I'm the only one to think this way. I'm the only one to be that weird. And then you realize <clears throat> that so many people are like, oh, like I actually also, you know, have had thoughts like that or. Oh my god, I'm, I'm like that too. I can't think of anything specific, but... And then you're like, 
So does that mean like, if, if they've also thought that, have they also thought that? Have they also thought that? Like, we all like to think that we're so unique and we all are in our own way. We're all unique little snowflakes. But chances are if like you felt something, you know, someone in time has felt that same thing. Even if it is like a little bit different than you, like a little bit tweaked to their own personality. And that's kind of a nice thought because I feel like it makes us feel a little less alone, you know? Okay. That was a very deep dive. Look at my fingers. They're like yellow from them. From the spices I've been using. 15 minutes I've been talking. If this was a first date, I don't know if you guys would, would go for a second. Okay. Well, I'm going to finish eating my dinner. It was because kind of probably alone because it's like getting cold because I'm just talking so much. Um, but I love you. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you like these kind of videos. Let me know if you see any similarities in me to you or if you just think I'm weird. Okay. Have a good night. Subscribe if you want to see me. <laughs> subscribe chances are if you've made it this far you probably are already subscribed <laughs> and i'll see you in my next art studio vlog or tour whatever i do okay love you bye bye